it guys welcome back to another M creator lore video so today i am going to be making the textures for the rice and we're going to have about seven stages uh maybe eight uh in total which are going to be a dead version a uh, seed version and then there's going to be the four growth stage as well as the ready for harvest and then probably a seeding stage um, I'm not sure about the seeding one I did do that off camera but we'll see how that works out um, when we actually put the script and stuff together but um, at the moment I just wanted to kind of get an idea of where the seeds were going to go and then we could kind of figure out from there um, what needs needed to be done so I just started playing around with the textures a little bit and getting uh, roughly a idea of where all these colors are um, going. I'm just offsetting the hue a little bit as well as the saturation and the value. So basically what that does is it gives it uh, more contrast and then it allows it to go ahead and give it some variety of uh, color. It also makes it more vibrant so that's basically what I was doing here. So I saved this as our rice stage zero. This will be uh, kind of like a different model compared to the uh, regular stage. The next stage is basically just a smaller version, like a sprout. So we'll be basically creating texture for that. I thought I was going to use the um, colors from here, but I wasn't too sure. I ended up diverting from the palette a little bit just to get some different value in uh, like some different shades and stuff so um, like it started off working really good and then it's just like okay I needed some I needed more support for different colors and stuff like that so um, I just started kind of playing around with the shapes and seeing what I could do with it and then giving it some color and then playing around with it some more I noticed that I could uh, I needed another a third shade just to kind of uh, make it a little bit more vibrant so I saved this as the number one stage so this is basically what's going to be growing uh, first after the seeds and then there was um, the next one which I needed a uh, basically a little bit larger so a little bit larger than that I started playing around with the shape a little bit and it was just a matter of kind of getting it to work um, with the shape uh, it's a lot harder to design something that's going to be real realistic because you want the same general shape as the plant itself but um, it's just a little bit harder because you have to think, okay, well, is the, the plant more of a, does it branch out more? Or does it more, is it more of like a, something that goes straight up, right? Is it taller? So that's basically what I was trying to get going with is something taller. And I know that I needed something that was roughly around the same, the sh same shape and stuff. But uh, eventually I got the shape that I wanted. And I started filling in some, some of the parts for the colors and stuff like that. And then I think I passed it through another one, uh, just adding some extra tones. And then I needed, uh, basically, this is, I think this is where I started using uh, more of a um, diverse pa palette because it, I just couldn't get the shades that I wanted in these parts because it needed to be a little bit darker. So basically I, I wanted something dark, but I didn't want it that dark and it was pretty dark for that. So I ended up just, um, I think I might've went with this. I'm not sure, but I might've not. I think I ended up creating my own or mixing it in. Yeah, I think I mixed it in like that just so it was a little bit, um, a little bit of a different hue as well so uh, basically offsetting the hue towards the nearest blue will um, allow you to get a little bit more color for when you get go darker so the darker it is the more green it should be or more towards blue and that will give it um, a nicer look for the hue thing um, so yeah basically that's the the one that I went with for the second stage 
And the next one that I needed to do was basically a little bit taller. So I started working with just a random shape and um, I went on to a new layer so I could basically see where I could like plan from the original and see what I can come up with. So basically, again, it this is where it kind of diverted from being kind of like a tall plant into kind of something that was a little bit more bushy and though rice is eventually does get a little bit more bushy but it's not like too much where it's like uh widespread like it doesn't spread out that much but i did play around with the shape a little bit just to kind of get the right pixels and stuff like that and it was a little bit hard to get everything correct but um, just imagine just trying to play with the the shapes in general just trying to see what would look best and I think I settled for something similar around like this um, I knew that there needed to be something a little bit further out on this side but <laughs> I didn't want it to repeat too much and yeah I was just kind of filling in some of the spots and trying to get some of these shapes to be more um, solid so it made it look like the branches are a little bit sturdier so that's basically what i was working on there and then i could start painting it so i got rid of that or i think i used the the palette for the old textures and i started offsetting the hue on them and then i could basically go ahead and swap those around and start painting the um parts where the branches were thicker and then I could basically go ahead and start merging in with some of the other colors. So basically I offsetted the hue a little bit and then the value and then I could start painting in a little bit of a darker shade uh, just going off the branches of those ones. And that allowed me to get the proper kind of dimension for that. Uh, there was still some parts that needed a little bit of work and there was definitely another sh darker shade needed in the middle just to kind of balance things out. So basically I'm trying to get the crop from kind of a lime green to a forest green eventually over time as it grows on. And basically this is what the, uh, the leaves I would imagine would look like kind of towards the ends with the highlights from the light and stuff it would kind of shine off of the light a little bit and give it a kind of a lighter color um one of the things that i needed to work on though was the 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 center part i, I think it was just too bland so i kind of just built in the um like a darker color just to kind of offset that blandness and kind of worked on some of the colors connected to that to kind of blend it in as well so that's basically the the next stage for that and i can't remember which stage i think it's like three or four uh three i believe so i basically saved that one and then we could work on the next stage which was basically a little bit taller i think so i basically had to redesign a new one and i just started playing around with the shape a little bit trying to get follow the same pattern and same position as the stem. So this was kind of like a rough uh, drawing. Like it's nothing nothing wrong with being rough with uh, kind of planning out things and stuff. And then you, you take it from there, right? So when you have an idea what you're going to go with, then you can start working with um, the actual shape and stuff. So again, this is not that wasn't really working so I just kind of sketched out some other parts I was experimenting with kind of offsetting some of the leaves going through and I didn't really like the look of that so I just started playing around with the um, general shape and seeing if I couldn't get uh, something that was a little bit more viable for the rice because I, I had the um, the that picture of the rice on the other on my other screen right so i just kind of played around with what i could work with um in the pixel pixel wise and i think i did something around that and just kind of sh sharpened up the um the actual textures just like the pixels just a little bit so it was not as um sharp 
and then I could basically build in some of the, the minor parts for the detail like the leaves and stuff like that and just kind of branch it off and that was pretty much uh, what I remember doing and then I disabled the the green or yeah I disabled it and then that's kind of the rough idea of what my stem system would look like so after that what I ended up doing was I ended up going ahead and just getting a little bit of a dark color branching it off just a little bit down the main stems that are straight enough and uh, just just the main just the main ones not any of the other ones and I ended up blending in some of the uh, textures for or the colors the shades so basically a little bit of a lighter green just mixed mixed around uh, just to kind of give it some extra detail as well as break up the um, solid the darker green into the smaller branches and stuff uh, this allows it to give it a little bit more light on those little branches you would imagine that the center stem would have more shading on it anyways so that's kind of like the idea that I was going for and then a little bit of lighter color uh, just to kind of fill in some of the parts after that shade so parts of it will needed to kind of be filled in with these uh, lighter greens and then I decided to kind of like do a little bit of a design along here just to kind of make it um, a little bit more like there's a little bit of a branch or something that's going along there um, just for the lighting and I was playing around with that just to kind of see what it would look like and I was pretty happy with the shading on that part so I left it and then I needed a little bit of a lighter color for the end pieces and I'm not sure if I made them a little bit lighter they're, they're pretty dark at this point but I needed to uh, get some of the yeah I'm pr I probably made it a little bit lighter so uh, just to fill in some of the finer pieces and yeah that's pretty much what I did for there and then it was just a matter of um, getting the parts in that I needed so I think this was the last stage so it's just adding a little bit of lighter colors on the little parts so that was the I needed to remove that layer from the old one and then I saved this as four so all I had left to do was the actual rice um, texture for the last stage and the dead stage um, I did make one for the actual stage for the seeding so basically if they want to have it to go to seed then they can let the crop go to an, a next stage and then they can get extra seeds back from it so I was looking at the picture in the actual uh, research that I did and I noticed that it kind of had like kind of like a fluffy part uh, of rice along the top so I tried blending it in as pot as much as I could uh, without making it um, too much of a like a like looks like it just a blob so I think I did pretty good with the the texture like the layout of it um, overall but uh, I needed to get some shading in there for the color uh, I didn't want it just like uh, a solid color uh, there needed to be more of a variety of colors so I, I think I added about three different shades just for that part I uh, could have probably got away with two but um, I didn't want it too bland just just so there was some variety so basically I started filling in some uh, lighter ones just to give it some extra detail and uh, variety as well so that's basically what the rice plant looks like um, when it's ready for harvest and then we could uh, go ahead and just change the hue of this to um, something a little bit more uh, green. I can't remember what I was doing at this point. I think I was trying to get the, um, the hue to more of a brown color. I can't remember. Um, might Oh, this might have been the seeding one. I can't remember what uh, texture I was working on. But um, yeah, so basically after that, I ended up selecting the, the rice itself and I started working with the hue offset to just get the, the right tone 
for the dead version. So I wanted it a little bit more darker than the, or like more vibrant than the, um, what do you call it, the stem part, because that's generally a lighter, a lighter color up there. So I played around with that. That was the last phase that I did. I actually went ahead and made the, um, worked on that part again, but I wanted to go ahead and get the, the part of the stem, like the plant itself, to kind of like that deady light color look, uh, something that was looked pretty dead, uh, something that couldn't really be regenerated from its death. So I ended up going ahead and going with this kind of like pale color. And then I just worked on the, the seeds a little bit more just to kind of balance that out. I needed to get the right color or shades for that. And it was just a matter of playing around with the values in the screen. So I was pretty happy around this. It looked good. So this is basically a dead version. The um, seeding version is somewhere between the two. So it has more green stem, but it's not um, as pale as the actual thing. So the last thing that I needed to do was import the textures into mCreator for a workspace. And that's basically what I worked on here, just importing the textures themselves. And then we were ready to go for the next episode. So we have a few different shapes that we need to address, plus that extra one that I made off camera uh, for the seating. So all those are imported now. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.